remain silent. And why fight it as everything you've said and done are hung for all to see? With no remedy to clean up the mess, you think if you say it loud, you say it best? It takes an acquired finesse to rescue damsels in distress to slyly peel off that dress until you're left with the nakedness of truth in between. The Indian word for the source of light is kisimmi. And we all start from there, born shirtless and bare with maybe just a couple of hairs and scarce skin. And then the molding begins. And the evolution is consistent. It trims at the do's and don'ts, at the who breaks the rules and who won't, until everything we're supposed to be floats to the top, and everything we'd really like finds itself lodged and locked somewhere between our heart and our gut. My mind gets hurt when it tries to transcend, when it diplomatically tries to condescend, to offer interpretations, to excite revelations, epiphanies, vast as inspiration, strutting with catwalk domination until cessation forces great ideas to result in elimination. Simply because temptation got in the way. Simply because you were going about your day exactly like how they say, because you got paid and will pay because, what the hey, you say? I might as well make the most of it. But man seems only to push it to extremes and we find ourselves crying tears of desperation. Or perhaps it's depression. That sick gut-pulling apprehension born from guilt and brewed over a low flame until it splits and you divide it into them and me into I'm the one in agony and how can nobody see but fake ears have become as common as plastic trees and tears fall pointlessly on hard wood earth. But we all know how much it hurts, really. And how about I take you out today, take your mind off and play with all the other boxes filed into this organized system, remind you there's a vision bigger than yours. It may seem like we're together, but really, everyone belongs simply an extension of their phones and contacts, that lack contact, that come through a ringtone or beef that shuffles feet as sun-kissed skies and sigh at the start of the day, because either way, we all have to start today. Got to make our way through and hope a pillow or two will catch us when we fall, that a pillow or two will form some kind of wall, that a pillow or two will shield us from tomorrow. Pillows carry so much sorrow and borrow the weight of the burden until we're left tumbling into half-built dreams. Yes, pillows, I think, is what this world really needs. Pillows to feed an entire nation, to be passed on from generation to generation, spread the comfort and hold the love. My heart loves freely when it's at rest. Not strain to take life's multiple choice test, asking, what would you like best? A to be free, B, to be me, C, to comprehend a divinity, D, to be me and be free while comprehending the climax of my divinity, or E, not C or D. And remember, we are who we want you to be. So give the world more pillows. At least then we may dream.